But first of all, I just want to start by saying that uh, the Army Corps has, has worked very well with my office, and I am, uh, you do really very important work for this country, so thank you for that. So that's why I'm a little, I'm very disappointed that with the budget because, because of the cuts, but I'm not going to blame you on it because that probably didn't come from you. Uh, but I, do, I just did want to comment and say that some of the things that concern me are the a billion dollar reduction in the construction account, the uh, reduction of, on Everglades restoration, which I'm going to uh, talk about in a moment, uh, the lack of inclusion of any new start studies. And I also want to say, and I know I got, I'm here with my colleague, Debbie Wasserman Schultz, who between the two of us are going to try to cover some of the Florida issues. Uh, but I, I wanted to just emphasize that uh, Florida's uh, economy de depends a lot on tourism, and which means the proper maintenance of our beaches, our waterways, our, arbor our harbors, obviously our drinking water. And so uh, the, a 30 percent overall decrease and your budget hurts us because we have to have our waterways maintained and we need to have our beaches renourished and we have to have our drinking water. So just to tell you that that is, disappoints me. Again, I think it's probably coming from I said, all the budgets have been, there's a request for all the budgets being cut. <clears throat> but just, Madam Chair, to let you know, I'm going to fight strongly, not, not for this budget. <laughs> okay. Let me uh, get to an issue of, of, of tremendous importance, a couple of them in Florida. <clears throat> I was once the mayor of the city of West Palm Beach. And uh, there was a time, I believe it was in the 90s, no, I think it was 2000, it was in the 2000. Uh, anyway, we had a terrible drought and came literally within days of losing all our water. I mean, we were terrified. I don't know if anybody remembers that. You just, I see you shaking your head. Not only did we, were we not going to have drinking water, we were not going to have water to put out fires. So that is why there is a great alarm coming from my local uh, authorities from the uh, city of West Palm Beach and from uh, the Palm Beach County Commission concerning uh, the, the talk about lowering the lake levels uh, to 10.5 feet or less um, in Lake Okeechobee. There's a little bit of a political, you're shaking your head, you know, obviously know about it. <clears throat> there is a political, there's some politics involved, which I'm, I really, because what's happening in the, in the, uh, the Martin County area, parts of East Coast and West Coast, have been getting these algae blooms, which are terrible for them, especially if it has economic consequences. And I know they have been urging the Corps to lower the lake le levels. But what I uh, want to ask you about, and to be assured that any decision made is based on scientific evidence and research and not on the politics of who's pressuring you to lower the lake. So, ma'am, uh, I will guarantee you that we live in a world of science and engineering, and we <laughs> fight to stay out of the politics. And that is, we are not getting pressure uh, to go to a certain number uh, from internally. There are been some calls mm -hmm. from both elected officials and uh, to be able to come to a certain level. We work this under the lore system. You're probably very aware of it. The normal band is 12.5 to 15.5. And we in the core have to live in the world of balance. Last year it was 14.5, and some people have proposed that maybe going into the summer with a higher number could have had some correlation back to the algae. So this year we are coming down. We don't have a target. We're going to continue to look every single day at what's the weather doing, how do we continue to set the conditions. We are lower than we were last year. As of this morning, we were at 12.07. So we're down about two feet. We still think, though, and just as you said, there's a bunch of reasons to keep a certain amount of water in there. We've <laughs> got to take care of the ecosystem. It's water supply. There's some recreation, some navigation. It's not all just about getting the lake as low as possible. So we are going to continue to keep all the elected officials informed as to what we're doing, and there will be no surprises. We are re-looking at lures. We'll continue to be able to advise you on that. But we're trying to figure out, is there a way we can maybe find a sweeter spot going into the summer so we can pre prevent algae while at the same time preserving water supply. 
That's good because otherwise I was going to request that you have a contingency planned to get water to the city and the county if, if we if we ran out. 